Whether you're the top ranked shooting team in the country or the 100th ranked shooting team in the country, if you struggle to maintain a solid defense and fail to grab rebounds, your chances of winning the game are slim to none. According to Hoosiers head coach Tom Crean, a lack of defensive awareness was the biggest disappointment in Indiana's loss tonight. It ended their home game winning streak and gave Minnesota their first win over a Big Ten opponent. The awareness never got where it needed to be uh, till the end of the game. And, and what I said to this team before the game, said to them all week, and it's a step that they've got to take. It's just an absolute, and, and, and they're shooting the ball well and getting a lot of attention for, for, for the winning and things like that. But teams that take the next step totally get that defense is what comes first in every situation. Defense creates the offense. Defense creates more opportunities. Defense creates the fast break. You name it. And, and, and the, the, the best teams gain confidence from their defense, not the other way around. We just didn't have our edge. You know? Didn't get the stops that we needed. Uh, let them get way too many open shots. Didn't take away things that we needed to. Uh, it was very poor defensively and uh, needed to communicate a lot more. Just the whole thing, we just not enough edge for us. We got to come up with those uh, big rebounds at the end. Uh, got to box out, uh, play team defense, and uh, we got to have that edge with us. The Hoosiers won the rebounding battle, but did not win the war in the perimeter. They allowed 13 second chance points and 36 points in the paint. They were even able to accomplish this task without their leading rebounder, Trevor Mbakwe. I knew coming in that they could still rebound even without their uh, best rebounder, but um, again, that's just on our part. we got to take care of that. It's deflating to have uh, that many offensive rebounds. Uh, you know, we just got to do the little thing. That's all uh, toughness. We played hard, but we didn't play as smart as we needed to. We were prepared. Our guys had really good practices. But as I look at the game now, we weren't playing on edge the way that we have. And, and uh, those might sound like buzzwords, and those, but those are real. Those are real. We did some good things. Cody did some good things. But when you lose a game that, that you didn't have that awareness and that edge, it, it it's on everybody in the program. The Hoosiers will have another tough rebounding test on the road in Columbus. They'll be taking on Jared Solinger and the Ohio State Buckeyes for the second time this season. Reporting live from Assembly Hall, I'm Jeremy Hood, IU Sportcom.